G'day, Adrian Cosman Jones from Onsite Developer. Today I'm showing the Google Hangouts Meet hardware, which is um, a video conferencing unit uh, designed for G Suite clients. This particular kit is, the, um, is designed for the large Hangouts, it's got the larger camera. And I'll just show you some of the components. Obviously, it includes the, uh, the Chrome box, uh, got all the power adapters and things to go with it. Underneath that, we've got um, this will be the speaker and microphone. Quite a large speaker mic. It's got a some type of a cable there. And power adapter, I'm assuming, underneath. Um, yeah, looks like it's connects by USB. And I'll connect it up in a minute. Also have the um, screen, 10 inch screen. So that's where you can dial into your, your meetings. A, uh, this one here is a high definition camera. Um, so it looks like we've got two cameras now. That's the, um, the one for the large meeting rooms, but this one would typically mount on top of a, uh, a TV in your, in your meeting room. Alrighty, so now that I've got everything unboxed, I'll just show you some of the components. So obviously this is, here's the Chrome box. Uh, we've got lots of different inputs, uh, many USBs, HDMIs. Um, it actually supports dual screens, which is pretty cool for your large meeting rooms. Um, next component is your speaker mic. So typically you'll have one of these for every, that Google recommend four to six people. So you can have up to four of these daily change in a row. Uh, you got all the cables, power, all that type of stuff to connect these devices together. The next interesting item is the screen. So this is a touch screen that controls uh, your meetings. You've got, again, all your different cables, HDMI, uh, DV, uh, USB and power. Power adapter, and this is a little hinge that goes on top once you install it as per the instruction guide. And finally, uh, because we're using the large meeting room, uh, we got the, the, the large camera. Um, so this is a full remote control one where you can uh, pan, tilt, and zoom using these controls. And obviously that, uh, that display, the camera will move as you adjust it. We also have um, mounting brackets, so you can mount the Chrome box behind a TV using a, a Visa mount. And there's another mount here for the uh, for the camera if you wanted to, to wall mount it or off a TV, something like that. And obviously lots of instruction booklets. So this is a nice simple guide. Um, here you can see you can connect the two screens if you wish and up to four additional uh, microphone and speakers for depending on how many Right, now I've connected all the devices up, so ready to turn it on, you just press the power button here. And a couple of seconds it'll uh, boot up. So you can hear it controlled from the touch screen, so we'll just do the setup, I'll connect it to my Wi-Fi network. Accept the terms and conditions, and I'll enter a, a G Suite account to register it with. Now, typically, you might have a generic account, um, like a meeting room designated for this type of thing. Alrighty, so once you've signed in with your account, it'll take you to the Hangouts Meet page. Um, you can also see it on the screen if you've got the additional monitor. So the next thing you want to do is start a meeting. So if you've, 
if you've already got pre-scheduled meetings, um, you'll see them appearing here, um, all the different meetings scheduled. Otherwise, you can start a new one if you wanted to just to do it that way. So what you'd do is you'd uh, invite people. So you can either give them that code or you can just um, invite them by putting in their email address. So I'll add in two people here. So that'll be my laptop and I'll just add in one more person. All right, so if I jump on a laptop now, I can see that this email has come through. Now I'll click on Join Meeting. And the same will happen on a, on a mobile phone. We've got an example here. So we'll just join that meeting as well. So it's just as simple as that for all these people to, to jump in the meeting. And we're going to get a bit of feedback. So I'll mute all the devices. Um, sorry about that. I'll uh, just join on the phone as well. I'll mute that one as well. Yeah, you don't want to be in the same room with, with all these devices because <laughs> you get the, the echoing. So from this control panel, I can actually control uh, who's, who's on the main screen. Um, as you can see, it's picking up Nikki's phone closest, so that's why it's showing Nikki. But if I manually choose Adrian, that'll pick up the laptop. Or we'll just show us here. Um, I've also got some camera controls because we've got the, uh, the larger camera unit here. Um, we can actually tilt and zoom using uh, the controls here. See Nikki in the background there, also appears on the big screen, um, which is pretty cool. But what we want to do is in this example is uh, present. So we'll grab a laptop and show a document. So if I come over to the laptop, open up a, a recent document, uh, what I'll do here is I'll uh, present this one. Sorry, I'll drop back into Hangouts here and I'll choose Present Now and we'll just choose the entire screen. Click that screen, share it. And as you can see on the phone, also on the control panel, I've got the presentation here of the document. If I click on that, now on the big screen, it's showing the, uh, the document of the laptop. So basically, everyone in, with their own devices can present all, these, all their screens. Um, and from here, you can control uh, which, which screen. So yeah, that was a quick snapshot of, of Hangouts Meet. Obviously, you can control the volumes here, hang up from the calls. Um, that obviously ends the meeting. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed that and any questions, let us know. Cheers.